Hello everyone, my name is Jessie and in this video I'm going to show you a 100% real way to upgrade your CPU for free. So, if I just, I'm just a proper, yeah, amazing. So, what you want to do is get the file that's in the description and, oh no. <laughs> And here, you can open it in whatever program you want, doesn't matter. Just push print, 2D print, print to your printer. And you want to make sure it's in colour mode, okay? And it has to be this exact picture from the description, so make sure to get that. So push print, and... If we now, please ignore my printer. You want to get your PlayStation controller, and if you don't have one, you have to go buy one, okay? And you want to get the charger. So I have the charger right now. Now it's very important, you got to make sure that you plug your charger into your computer right on the front okay right there and before you plug it into your controller before you plug it into your controller you have to oh, you didn't see that you saw nothing. You saw absolutely nothing. You've got to grab your sheet of paper with this and you can't let it be exposed to the light very much. So, you grab your controller, you grab your sheet of paper, and you've got to put, make sure the table you're doing this on is completely clear, and you have to put this down facing this exact direction and put the controller right there on top. Now you've got to push this button one time, then push this down three times, click this in, go up, up, square, triangle, X, circle. Now that should, now if your light stopped flashing before that before you finish, then you didn't do it quick enough and you have to do the whole process again. So, now, now you want to go, you want to go to performance monitor, then click on performance, Go monitoring tools, data collectors. Okay, go to data collector sets, user defined, right click, do new data collector set. Now, if you want to create manually, you've got to make sure to do this. Okay, do system information and find your processor right here and just found type what this is. So I, mine's i7-8700. So yeah, here. Now, in here you want to type your CPU. So that's what you want to do. And x10. Now you push next, you've got to make sure it's on create manually, okay? Next, create data logs and tick all of these. Push next again, push add and go processor and go to 10, the same number you put it put in there, go add. Now you've added this and that's good. So you push okay. 
next providers you want to add it might take a bit to have come up now you want to go all the way to disk class driver tracing provider and you push OK. The next registries registry registry keys you leave what's in here do another backslash and go CPU and then 10. Next leave this next leave this and finish so now you have your cpu times 10 and as you can see it says stop so you have to right click on that and push start and now it says running and if you go now you have to restart your computer so let me just do that real quick so to do that you do this and click on here okay I just restarted and reopened this if you go system information again now don't worry if it says it's the same we haven't finished yet you have to full screen this then remember what I said about the PlayStation controller you have to oops, grab grab it and let me just show you all oh, that looks very very strange so you go to here and you just cover this up and you're done and your CPU has now been made way better than it was before and my mouse has stopped working don't worry that's a, just a side effect that can happen now for me I just have to take the battery out and put it back in and my mouse starts working again but yes um, put in the pole up here if it worked for you um, Thanks for watching this video. If it didn't work for you, just make sure to do all the processes again um, 10 times. So, thank you for watching. Bye.